In the world of science, everyone knows the CERN particles accelerators. However, have you ever heard that laser manufacturers of Lithuania have been contributing to the development of ultra-short pulse laser system for extreme light infrastructure in Hungary that will be a sort of CERN particle accelerator analog in the field of laser research? The peak power of single pulse emitted by this system will exceed the power of nuclear power stations by thousands of times. The concept of this system was developed in Vilnius University Laser Research Center facility Naglis. The works of scientists from Naglis are well known all over the world. Here, the prototypes of unique laser devices exported to almost all developed countries are developed. While establishing this facility, it was thought about new promising fields which will allow laser manufacturers to develop the increasingly powerful and advanced laser systems. The laser system, generating high power pulses of a few femtoseconds, is operating in high-intensity laboratory of the facility Naglis. Femtosecond lasers are usually used for research of ultra-fast processes of the micro world. However, they are increasingly applied in various industrial and medical fields, development of microchips, eye surgery and car manufacturing. Attosecond science is a completely new field of research that emerged just 10 years ago. So far, this laser technology is available only in a few global science centers. We seek to generate X-ray range pulses, the duration of which would be lower than a femtosecond. Mastery of attosecond laser technologies would not only ensure the qualitative leap in industry while developing new products and technologies, but also would help to answer the fundamental scientific questions. For example, how the Big Bang took place. They are the questions for the future. Meanwhile, three-dimensional microporous structures are here today. The scientists of Laser Nanopolymerization Laboratory have developed a new method for the formation of these structures. They can be applied as scaffolds for cell growing and tissue engineering. It is intended to use the aforementioned structures for the development of bioresorbing implants that could replace the current biological or synthetic implants. It would be helpful in prosthesis of bone defects or, or even in hernia surgery. Our laboratory is the intersection of science and business. We develop the technology itself and three-dimensional structures, which can be applied not only in tissue engineering, but also in other fields. The things developed in this laboratory are successfully implemented in industry laser polymerization systems, the prototypes of which were developed by scientists of the facility Naglis, have already been operating in Italy, Australia and China. We are interested for those who develop new materials processed by laser, also for those who want to research and apply micro-optical elements, but do not have the required equipment, knowledge and experience. We are like a bridge, developing and making three-dimensional structures. We have partners, synthesizing materials and end-users that need these structures. Today, a fast development of laser technologies is limited by the resistance of optical elements to laser radiation, since a laser is the chain of elements which fails if at least one element is damaged. The scientists working in the metrology laboratory of the facility Naglis have developed original computerized damage threshold management system. It is very useful for companies developing and producing optical elements and coatings. In this laboratory, the samples sent by Lithuanian and global laser system manufacturers are tested. Knowing the damage threshold of various materials, manufacturers are able to avoid the production losses assess the possibilities of tested materials and samples and select and develop new leading products. We work with the space industry, with the European Space Agency. Our aim is to develop the long-lasting and reliable systems for them. As a laser is launched into space, there is no second chance to test it. Therefore, each element should be tested many times before launching into orbit. This laboratory is characterized by a wide range of possibilities. We cooperate with global laser research centers and foreign companies. 
we work with manufacturers of laser elements which optimize their polishing vaporization technologies. We also provide certification services, advise and make assessments of optical resistance of laser elements. Lithuania is one of the world's leading countries in the field of laser technologies. The Lithuanian laser industry exports 86% of products to European, North American, Asian and Oceanian countries. Globally, unique research is carried out in Vilnius University Laser Research Center facility Naglis, while the result of scientists' works and their usage open up new possibilities for business companies in development and the manufacturing of advanced technologies and products.